I'm now at a cross-country ski resort called Teacup Lake, sort of an informal resort. There's just a little box that you stuff some, uh, they asked for a seven buck donation, so pretty fair deal. And uh, as you can see, this is just unbelievable scenery right here. That is uh, Mount Hood there. Tallest mountain in Oregon, a volcano along the lines of Mount St. Helens, except that dormant, not extinct. Uh, but I think pretty unlikely to do anything. Well, looky here. <laughs> Holy moly. I don't even have the zoom on right now. <laughs> cool. Didn't expect that to happen. Hey there, how's it going? Good afternoon. Today is April 11th. Currently 56 degrees Fahrenheit, that is 13 degrees Celsius. Here at a rest stop on I-5 in Oregon between Salem, the capital of Oregon, and Portland, the largest city. I am driving north towards Portland, but uh, cruising past Portland and going to Mount Hood. Mount Hood is the tallest mountain in Oregon, a volcano, and that is where I started my YouTube channel 15 years ago now, almost. My first video was posted on May 13th, 2009. I'm going to revisit where my YouTube journey began. I have a hotel reserve on the side of Mount Hood for tonight. My car is up ahead here. I'm going to hop in it and uh, as I get uh, closer to the mountain, I will be telling the story of my YouTube channel in general, how I got into this and ultimately became a professional YouTuber and world traveler. So uh, let's get the adventure started. A beautiful sunny spring day here but it's going to get colder up on the mountain where there definitely should be snow all right let's do it traveling into the past and showing some of the uh, most beautiful places to see here in Oregon Mount Hood is amazing let's get up there there you can see I-5 north to Portland 205 North Oregon City. That's where I'm going to turn, heading east into the Cascade Mountains. About an hour's drive east of Portland. You can see Mount Hood from downtown Portland. Mount Hood is a volcano, but not an active volcano. I guess it would be considered dormant versus extinct. So extinct means it was a volcano at one time and no longer has the capability to erupt. But a dormant volcano isn't active, hasn't been active in a long time, but could still potentially erupt. So Mount St. Helens, also obviously a volcano, which erupted in, I think, 1980, and, uh, you know, blew its top. I've been there a number of times in recent years. It's a spectacular site and a really uh, awesome place to go uh, hiking around and see the views, see into the crater, etc. But uh, Mount Hood is, you know, 
for all practical purposes, a mountain, a beautiful mountain with skiing on the side of it, but uh, no threat of actually erupting anytime soon as far as I know. And here is where I will turn off of I-205, East 212, to Damascus. Fun fact. There are a lot of borrowed names in Oregon. So Portland here. I'm on the uh, edge of Portland. Of course there is Portland, Maine. Salem, capital of Oregon. There is Salem, Massachusetts. There is Albany. Of course, Albany, New York. Damascus, the capital of Syria. There is a town called Lebanon. As you uh, travel around Oregon, you will just see more and more names that were taken from other places, or maybe coincidental, or who knows what. But uh, there you can see, Mount Hood, 52 miles that way. And I think that is it right there, straight ahead. Yes, gotta be. I can see the snow on the mountain covered in clouds at the moment. Welcome to Happy Valley. This is where my friend Sterling lives. I just talked with her at the uh, rest stop there to uh, see what she was up to and I will likely be uh, meeting up with her possibly tomorrow. So there is also a Milwaukee spelled differently but it is part of uh, Portland and there is a Detroit. Actually when I went to Brighton Bush Hot Springs that was my last video, then you drive through Detroit. It is a tiny little town, barely even a town. Price of gas, $4.39. Much cheaper here than in California, where it's more like six bucks a gallon. Like I said, Milwaukee. Maybe it is spelled the same, actually. Yeah, I think so. I thought it had two E's at the end, but uh, there you can see. Yeah, I think that is the same way that it is spelled. Milwaukee, Wisconsin, right? So this is Damascus. A little different from the one in Syria. Not that I've been there, but I've seen videos. So I wanted to follow up with a couple of things about my video that was uh, filmed at the uh, Silver Falls talking about my friend Jackie and looking for a place to park this year vehicle. So, I got like 20 something offers from people to park my uh, car at their house or whatever. Various places from Vancouver, Canada to uh, Indiana, Oregon, California, etc. Some of them were uh, certainly more practical for my travel plans than others, so um, that is uh, totally covered. I will have a few different options to choose from that could work. All right, I am getting a uh, much better view of the mountain. It is looking massive. You probably can't see it too well in the video, especially with those uh, clouds, but uh, it's getting bigger as we get closer. And then as far as my uh, friend Jackie, People donated more than $1,400, so hugely appreciated for her. That will definitely help her out uh, a bit there. So uh, thanks a lot for everyone who came through on uh, both of those uh, situations. Travel time to government camp. That is up on the top of Mount Hood, 40 minutes. Not the actual peak top, but uh, the uh, town that is closest to the ski resort on the side of the mountain. And look at that, folks. That must be the peak of Mount Hood. We'll get a little better view of it up ahead, but it appeared to be fully revealed. And here we go, getting a better view. Oh yeah, that is definitely the peak. All right, all right, all right, all right. 
we are going to get much closer. Up there, in the snow. So this is Mount Hood Village, which is where my hotel is. But I'm going to continue up onto the mountain and then come back and check in to my hotel later. It is about three in the afternoon, so I want to maximize the rest of the time left here. We're still down in elevation here, but where I'm headed now is only 15 minutes further, but we'll be going uphill a lot soon, and we will be arriving at a famous location. I will explain why it is famous once we get there. There you can see zigzag in a mile, government camp in 12 miles. I saw something that I had to uh, stop and show. Mount Hood Cannabis Company. Of course, weed is legal in Oregon. And look at this amazing mural. What is this? My Bud Vase. Just add seaweed. A mermaid with a bong. Wicked kind. Look at that. Bigfoot Sasquatch. On a skateboard. Aliens. Mushrooms. <laughs> Snowboarder. That is a good one. Very, very cool. And boom, look at that, there it is, Mount Hood. I just love that view. A couple of tiny clouds in the way, but uh, as you can see, it towers over the other smaller mountains of the Cascades. And here you can see Mount Hood Ski Bowl, one of the ski resorts, America's largest night ski area. Also, Mount Hood is somewhere that you can ski year-round because of the glacier on the side of it. Government Camp to the left, Mount Hood's Alpine Village. Government Camp Ski Bowl East. Okay, I'm actually not sure if that is the way to Timberline Lodge, it might be. Or maybe it isn't. So, time to uh, pull over here and check my map and make sure I'm going the right way. Mount Hood Brewing Company. Okay, so I'm not sure what is going on here. Well, I'm not sure what's going on with these guys <laughs> driving a uh, golf cart on the highway, but uh, look like they might have been a couple of ski bums probably work around here. But I'm not sure what's going on with where I'm trying to get to because Google Maps is not showing that I can drive. I just revealed where I am trying to go, Timberline Lodge. That is the famous place. But on Google Maps, it isn't showing that I can drive all the way there, so hopefully that is a mistake on the part of Google. Otherwise, that will kind of foil my plans. Maybe it's closed because of snow, but it shouldn't be because that is where there is a ski resort, unless things have changed since I was here. It's very quiet around here. I'm kind of surprised. I thought that there would be more activity. Glacier Public House. Yeah, it's like closed down. It is a Thursday. 
maybe it is kind of the tail end of the ski season, but it shouldn't be because there's supposed to be skiing here year round. And as I will be explaining, when I get to the story of my YouTube channel and starting filming up here, then I was filming on the side of Mount Hood in April and May. Okay, I'm seeing a sign for Timberline Lodge. Right there, left quarter mile, okay. So we will find out very soon if I can in fact, ooh, there we go. Another great shot of the mountain. And ski lifts that aren't running. Okay, so things are looking good so far. I just turned onto the uh, road that goes up to Timberline Lodge and I didn't see anything saying road closed ahead. So it's looking like things should be open. Cars coming down. And we are getting way up in elevation now. Off in the distance behind me there is another tall mountain, which I think also is a volcano. It might be Mount Adams. Getting clouded over now. Or that tall mountain, which is uh, south of here, could have been Mount Jefferson. I think probably one of those two. And here we are. Timberline Lodge, the peak of Mount Hood, it is all working out. And look at that. That is a spectacular mountain. Not many cars up here, and it appears that the ski lifts aren't running, maybe just because it is too late in the afternoon. Guy with a snowboard there, so skiing and snowboarding is happening. All right, time to park this thing. 